You have a huge advantage when it comes to the ascension process in being awakened for many years, and those of you that are just awakened a few days, a few weeks, a few months, you still have an advantage over those who are completely unawakened to source. It is not about trying to use your powers to harm, it is about using your powers to bring in more of a balanced nature that you feel as you are instilled with more magic that is light-filled. Magic is in your crystal healing, and it is of no error in consciousness that you are here to be a volunteer in this process of being from a future timeline, in seeing more of your true self. The guidance that I provide for you in who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light is always a future one, as in talking about unity consciousness. We as a collective of light are well aware that most of humanity are not living in unity now. The reality of this is where you have divided states, divided thought forms, divided souls who are unaware of who they are as source, who go around focusing only on material, instead of spiritual. And when talking about spiritual most individuals say with ego, but I am not religious, sorry. This GFOL is one big religion, I don't believe in anyone being from the future, from the stars. Who are you fooling? There are no fools here in who we are as one galactic crew, there is only a release of those who will use the ego to label who we are to be some religion, when we are clearly not. Most religions are based in separation, and that is never our aim. Our aim is only to connect with all of our star beings that have come from the future, from our galactic crew, to incarnate on the earth for ascension. Those unaware of ascension are not from our galactic crew, but are mere humans, not able to see the divine scope of how in being from the future we are much more advanced than humans. In no way is this to say as the ego says to be better than humans. It just means that we are much more evolved, as the potential of most humans are to evolve into full consciousness, in being immortal in the physical. This whole death cycle is temporary for those choosing full consciousness, and this is in truth the final lifetime in which you are able to ascend beyond reincarnation cycles, and no more death is required as part of your mission. Only a life where you are advanced is sacred that you are deciding to be fully conscious, to then enter deeper into your majestic self in being an evolved light being, that is multidimensional. These messages are coming from inner knowing, in who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians here not only in our starships, but on the ground, living lives as among humans. We are not human, but we are extraterrestrial. And there are most souls who will see a human form and automatically say with ego, that is a human, that is a person, that is a male, that is a female, and this is part of the 3D hologram, mixed in with mind conditioning. If you feel humans would be dedicating their time to talking about being from the stars, ascension, talk about being an extraterrestrial, you will notice most humans are not. It is not about using the ego to convince of this matter, of this reality, any more than a fish will try and use ego to convince you that it is a giraffe. Being an extraterrestrial on this planet is in knowing that you are on a foreign planet, as the Earth is only home to humans, and in being here from the various star worlds, those who know this often talk about not being human. Yes, it is very much true. You are not humans, and you are here to see that you are kind extraterrestrials, that have come from the stars, which is why you have access to the higher dimensions, which is how you are aware of the Christ consciousness. We are the Christ dead beings of light, as for those who are stuck in duality, will feel this is only a channel, and label it with ego as such, not being aware that we exist on the surface and walk around humans all day. Most humans are completely unaware that we are walking around as such, and often act very much divided, 
unseparated from Source. In feeling that you will see all of humanity awaken in this lifetime, you will notice, those refusing to stop killing in this lifetime are refusing to awaken to their true self, and will need many more lifetimes of karma, of divisions, of duality, until ready to ascend. This is not only about those who kill daily, this is about those who are living divided outside, meaning will often be unaware of their own true nature as the light, and instead to focus on judgments, on the mind. You are not the mind conditioning, as to feel you are is to choose to not evolve beyond 3D in this lifetime, and as a result death happens. And it is only, as you say, a matter of time for such souls to experience such a reality. The reality of those of you choosing to not die in this lifetime, that are done with reincarnation cycles are those of you focused daily on ascension, that are being highly creative, that are bridging gateways from the future of unity into the now moment. Cosmically you have the ability to see that through your own merging more out of duality, then you are seeing how there are those who will focus still only on duality, meaning will see everyone as separated, will talk non-stop in such a way, I hate this, I hate that person, and this is hate, making no errors in consciousness about it. Until such souls awaken, they will stay in a lower vibration, and keep dying over and over again, and then have amnesia in every new lifetime. You notice this as when talking to most humans about reincarnation, about past lives, most souls will say with ego, I don't know, I don't remember, maybe it is possible, I don't think so, as this is how you know such souls have amnesia. Most humans have had past lives, and just their realization of this is wiped clean, as you say, in mind erase with the soul imprint of every soul in their Akashic records, not able to access it until ready to ascend. This is how most humans have been living, and to come back from the future, to share such information, naturally there will be a lot of individuals who are unaware of such messages, and will label it as false, when the falsehoods are based in mind control, and not being aware of the light within. Those that are unwilling to detach from the ego will exist in suffering every single day, and instead of existing more in the new earth now, exist in the old earth, the earth that is taken over by the cabal, that is based in separated natures, in fear, and non-stop wars. The only solution to a peaceful world is an inner shift out of the ego, and until such souls are ready to do that, they will keep in the same patterns of fear wars, and chaos. Those of you ready are seeing this more clearly now, and it is refreshing for you to know that you are not getting caught into more reincarnation cycles, as you are increasing your light work in your ascension path. This is about spreading awareness about ascension, that is the most important part of this life, as to ascend is the whole point of being in the physical not to learn the same lessons over and over again, not to be controlled into feeling you are not sovereign. Ascension is your gateway out of duality, out of polluted worlds, and it all takes your responsibility to be more centered into who you are as a cosmic light source. We stand in unity forever, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.